Good morning, welcome back to weekly vlog seven. Let's get it right this week. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's vlog and enjoyed seeing the house. I am really looking forward to starting the whole process. Hopefully we will hear some news this week about when we can complete. Um, let me know what you guys think about it though, because I am I'm really looking forward to getting started. I'm gonna try and not keep saying I'm so excited because I was aware that when I was editing, I said it so much and I tried to cut it out and I said, Ellie, you need to stop, stop saying that. So it's Monday morning now and I am off for my recovery ride. We are starting my <clears throat> two week training block today. Um, I was supposed to be going to Mallorca tomorrow to do basically 10 days of training and that's now not happening so I am or, or we're, we're replicating that so today I've got two hours easy recovery ride um, after yesterday's four hours uh, so it's just a super easy spin so I'm just going to go down the A6 and back um, stick my music on and <laughs> the weather the weather the last four or five weeks has been absolutely amazing it's been beautiful blue sky it's been it's just been gorgeous and <laughs> this week for my big days on the bike <laughs> it's raining yeah so i'm wrapped up and i have not got my legs out i've got my legs covered <laughs> I've just come into town, it's four o'clock, it's like a ghost town, it's really weird, but I am going to the bank because I've got to drop in my cheque because I have my closing statement from my help to buy ISA um, got delivered this morning, so I have to go and put that into my bank account and then I can send it over to the solicitors and then they can do their thing but I have to go and put it into my account so I'm hoping the bank is open and then I'm gonna nip to Aldi well that's not an ideal site is it <laughs> well good job I didn't only come into town to put that check in that's a bit of a wasted journey um, it says online that they're open but it says on the door that they're closed <laughs> so I will come back tomorrow morning because they're open between 10 and 1 so it's a bit annoying anyway I'm gonna go to Aldi now and do the food shop for the week um, I've got into a bit of a routine of doing the food shopping every Monday so yeah Monday food shopping sort all of the meals for the week I'm just back from Aldi now and I'm going to unload it but as I was cycling oh, as I was cycling am I okay as I was driving home through Bakewell I saw a Bora Hansgrohe rider and at first I thought oh just FK up like and then I got closer and I saw he was on a Bora Hansgrohe spec bike uh, paint job and everything and he had Bo Bora Hansgrohe spec helmet and I thought that's a bit too much kit for you to not be riding for Bora Hansgrohe. So I, well, as I overtook him, I went slightly slowly and I didn't recognize him. And there aren't any British cyclists on Bora Hansgrohe team. So I just thought, oh, he's just, this guy is obviously taking it to the extreme FKW. But um, I was really shocked because for a minute I was like, oh, is it gonna be someone I recognize? Why are they in Bakewell? Anyway. He didn't really corner very well and he actually rode out in front of a car so I don't think he rode for the team. But yeah, how random is that? Just thought I saw Peter Sargon for a minute. to do today so I'm having smoked salmon with poached eggs on toast and then I'll probably have some cereal and obviously we've got a Yorkshire brew on the go. Be successful. <laughs> Just about sorted for my ride now and um, I've decided now that we're getting into our bigger week the thought of just going up and down the A6 is just not okay so 
I am going to ride over to my new house and then I'm going to ride from the new house to work and have a look and see what the commute would be like to ride. I just, I, I don't like riding on really, really busy roads. So I've had to take quite a few <laughs> back roads. Um, so I've done it on Strava um, and I've put it on my Wahoo. But I'm going to head to town first because I need to put the cheque in the bank. That is important. And the bank is only open from 10 till 1. So it's half 10 now. So I'm going to ride to town and then from town I'll ride over to the new house and then to work and then from work back home and that should be about four hours it's probably going to be above zone two i mean it's definitely going to be above zone two but i i'm um, i'm okay with that i've got some brioches and jam in my back pocket so i'll be fueled for the journey and stick my music on i've got my shake dry because it is gray and miserable outside it's horrible i wish it was sunny like it was last week Anyway, so I'm gonna hit the road, get the check in the bank, and we'll go from there. Good morning, it's a rainy day in Derbyshire this morning. I've got another four and a half hours to do today. In the but I just wanted to give you a quick little update. So my friends over at Velo Skin have given me a discount code for my viewers and anyone to use to get a bit of a discount on anything on the Velo Skin site. So it's Ellie Cycles 10, that'll give you some money off your order. Full disclosure, it does give me a little bit of commission as well, but if you guys can get a little bit of money off and I can get a little bit, then, you know, everyone's a winner. Um, so I just wanted to update you on that. I have been using Velo Skin for the last year and it really is the best chamois cream that I have used. Um, it's great and it smells really nice too. So, you know, double winner. Anyway, so I'm going to go off my ride now. I've got some brioches. In my back pocket, I'm going to stick my shake dry on, uh, stick my tunes in. We've got quite a lot more climbing in today's ride. Um, in fact, double the climbing that I did yesterday. So we'll see how the legs feel. Um, I've had a good breakfast and let's hit the road. Oh my gosh. I'm not okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, I can't even. Oh. <laughs> um, my feet are so cold. I can't feel them. Spats are just rubbish. They just don't work. Um, I need to get some recovery in my system right now. Oh my God, that was such a wet, soggy ride. Four hours. I did 80K. I have like 1,700 meters of climbing which was actually more than I anticipated because I actually changed my journey. I'm just having some recovery. Luckily, I made a bowl for tea last night and I made enough to have as soon as I got back today. I'm gonna to put that in the microwave now and then just get it in my system ASAP. Woo! That was, that was tough. It was good though, I did enjoy it, it was, a, it was a good route. It's so miserable and dark and dull. Ugh. I'm just, oh, wow, I'm just looking. We just need to accept that this week is not going to be an attractive week because all I'm doing is big days of riding. Anyway, so, wow, I'm out of breath. I'm going to have a shower now, take all of these soaking wet clothes off. I feel a lot better now I've had my spag ball and recovery shake, so I'm gonna have a quick shower, get changed, warm up, because um, I am pretty cold right now, and then um, settle down and just um, try and get my breath back. So I'm just going to make some dinner now, um, it's 
five o'clock, but I just wanted to prep some potatoes. I've started watching a new series, very late on the bandwagon, but I've started watching Luther and I am fully hooked on it. So I've got a cup of tea, Luther on the go, and I'm gonna peel some potatoes. I've got my house contract. My dad's just brought it home, so I've got a lot of reading and I'm gonna sit, go through it all. If the kingdom is overthrown, meet me at the cornerstone. I know that I Morning, 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 morning. It's Thursday today. And I'm not on my bike because I only have one hour to do today. Thank you, James. Um, I have a recovery ride. So I am um, doing a one hour spin, which I'm thankful for. It's another horrible weather day here. It's just not a good week of weather. Uh, how it can change so much. But we've got what we've got, so we just have to deal with it. Exciting news on the house front. We are completing on the 7th of May, which is next Thursday, a week today. <laughs> um, so that's when we're aiming for simultaneous completion, exchange and completion. And then I will have the bank holiday to get in and start doing some bits. And then I'm going to arrange for tradies and stuff to start coming on the Monday onwards. Tradies are allowed to work, you know, they can't work from home, so they are allowed to work. Uh, you just have to, you know, social distance and, you know, one person in one room and all that jazz. So, um, today uh, I am writing a list of the things that I need to buy right now. So, like, paint scrapers, wallpaper scrapers, sandpaper... Um, the different sorts of paint and things because I've never done this before it's definitely going to be a big old learning process um so today I am yeah I've got an, I've got a spreadsheet I've got my budget spreadsheet ready I'm gonna start brainstorming all of the things that I need and then I'll run it by my dad because my parents built this house so they're pretty good at this sort of thing so I'm getting lots of advice from them um so that's really where we're at. I'm going to go for a spin at lunchtime. So I'll do this for a couple of hours. I'm watching Luther at the moment again. I can't switch it off, but I need to because I need to concentrate on doing this spreadsheet. But exciting times. I'm going to have the keys in my hand soon, hopefully. Hopefully, let's not jinx it. It has suddenly got so dark. I am going to do my turbo now. Uh, I just didn't want to go outside in this pouring rain. So, I, I'm gonna do two hours on the turbo. Well, I don't need to do two hours. Anything less than two hours, so I'm probably gonna do an hour and a half, max. So, I'll do that now. I'm gonna stick Luther on and... It's another rainy day in Derbyshire. I'm getting changed in a really random order. I don't know why I've just put my buff on. I've only got sports bra on. Anyway, I'm gonna get changed, go out for my ride in the rain. Yes, yes, yes. Be without you. This bond is solid gold. We're diamond and an emerald. It took me forever to find you. So I've got a good couple of layers on now um, and I'm going to take my shake dry, I'm not going to put it on 
because it's not raining at the moment. But I'm going to go over today's ride. Hello and welcome to Ellie's Rides. So today I'm going to go over towards Macclesfield. Um, the ride that I have planned will take about four and a half hours. There's quite a lot of climbing, like three times the amount of climbing in it. So I'm going to have to really back it off. Oh, it's pretty windy out there. Oh, God damn it. I hate riding in the wind. I hate riding in the wind more than I hate riding in the rain. I could ride in the rain if it's not windy. But it's pretty windy out there. So... Anyway, I put some more songs on my phone because I'm running out of music to listen to. So I've put some more songs on and I'm going to make some more brioches up and fill them with jam and hit the road. I probably will wear the spats again just to keep my um, shoes clean because honestly, this is why sometimes I just don't trust what people say on the internet because spats have honestly just never worked for me. I feel like they are not what they say they are. Everyone says that they keep their feet totally warm, totally dry. I don't know how that's possible because my feet have never stayed warm or dry. So I just don't really understand it, but it's at least it's gonna keep my shoes clean. So, you know, it's one of them. <sighs> now that was a hard ride. I was out for four hours and 40 minutes. I did 80K and there was 1800 meters of climbing. <sighs> Sweet Lord. That was tough, that was tough. As soon as I turned onto the cat and fiddle, it felt like an absolute recovery. Even though I just called my mum about it and she was like, you did the cat and fiddle? And I was like, mum, the cat and fiddle was easy compared to some of those climbs that I'd been doing before. I was literally going 4k an hour up one of those climbs. It was so steep. Oh, just the thought of it is, oh child. My ride is done for the day. Now I'm going to go and put my cycling clothes in the wash, ready for another long old ride tomorrow. Do you sort of see the theme here? The theme is carrying on, and it's going to carry on for another eight days. No, not another eight days, another week. So, <laughs> mm, your girl's going to be good at climbing after this, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Right, I'm going to go and put a wash on and then take a moment, breathe, sit down and watch some Netflix because I am going to crash soon. I can feel it. This is how we live on a Friday night. Podium legs and a cup of tea belongs to a hola i just wanted to round the vlog off now basically because all i'm now doing for the next two days is riding many kilometers and if i feel like i feel now for the next two days then i am not going to be picking up this camera again because i am tired <laughs> i thought i would end the vlog now so that i can edit it and get it uploaded because I'm going to get to the end of this next block and not want to edit. So I want to make sure that it's edited and uploaded because the internet here, oh lord Jesus. Let's just hope that I have fibre optic at my new house because I have to upload overnight. So I always have to edit it and be ready the day before. So anyway, I'm going to sign the vlog off now many exciting things happening next week so hopefully in next week's vlog we will have the completion i will pick up the keys keys in hand hopefully and then we can get on with the renovation process and that will be a whole nother series um on the channel but i'm super excited for you guys to oh there's that word again but i am really excited for you to see it and i can't wait to get going what else? Anything else exciting? No, it's probably just the house, isn't it really? Um yes. Well Oh, I wrote a blog for Veloskin actually, so it's on their website, which I think is veloskin.cc, I think. I'll put a link to it. I don't know, it's just a bit of writing that I did. Uh, you might enjoy it, you might not. Maybe you want to read it, maybe you don't. Anyway, I'm going to edit the vlog, I'm going to stop talking now, and I'll see you in next week's video. Thanks for watching. Bye!